Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Arya's Story. In the last episode, we had a lot of little things happen. We ran into the mysterious boy who has sworn to kill Arya. We did some reading. We took a test. And more creepy bears were involved. And in this episode, from what the looks of this book says, and from what the, uh... And from what the uh, puzzle room that we worked on looked like, we're going to need two specific types of flowers. A tulip and a snowdrop. But first, there's a book over here I... Oh no, wait, that's just a chair. Okay. So, yeah. I still could have sworn that this looked like, uh... The room on the map, but maybe it's just similar, but not exactly what we're looking for. So let's see, what's in here? Did we look in here? We did not look in here. I think this is the, uh, house that we got the key for. Let's just see if there's anything else around it. Nothing in particular. Chocolate bear. I don't trust bears anymore. Not if they're involved in this game. Let's see, there are a bunch of cakes, one empty thing in the middle. Okay. I have to press the switch. No. Probably not. It looks like we may want to, like, put something here, maybe? Unless, hold on. This note helped us last time. Writing cool glasses. Mark. Because I know that they're all colored, so I wonder if we hit them in order, color-wise. There isn't really a pink button, though. Maybe, maybe red is close enough, so... Red, orange, green, blue. So let's see what happens. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we have to hit them in a certain order and just do some guesswork? Hey, there we go. What? Maybe there's some sort of key, or like hint, or some sort of memory thing that we can find laying around. Whatever it is, I don't think it's in here. So let's poke around this area a little bit more. We definitely need a lamp before we can go in there again. Doors locked. Nuts. You're looking here up. There was a bear blocking that door. Hmm. Yeah, I think we've been in here already. Yeah. So. Hmm. Why don't you visit the chocolate house? I'd like- I mean, I did. There was stuff there, but not a lot I could fucking do with it. Hmm. I failed. Oh well. I passed! Actually, I randomly guessed on everything. Don't tell the teacher about this. That is the worst possible thing to do during a test. Got a perfect score. Worthy of a book as perfect as I am. Eh, we're just stuck up fucking. Anyway, hmm. There's gotta be like a hint or something somewhere, yeah? I still feel like. Hold on. 
even hold on. It even maps out the stools, so how the hell do we get over there? Is like is there like a secret? Secret, 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 secret. Cause from the looks of it it's like out of bounds. Hmm. Get it then. Hmm. Maybe we can go talk to that book for another hint? Use the map I gave you to find out where my secret base is. Y yeah, your map ain't fucking helping, friendo. Fuck. Hmm. Fairy tales, fairy tales, fairy tales. Angry mimic present. I feel like we will need to bring him something, and I have a hunch that it may, like, be in the, uh, secret sweet house. Maybe there's something... Wait, this shelf looks a bit... Hmm. Never mind. Is there nothing in here? Hmm. Hmm. I still feel like I'm missing something, even though I've checked pretty much everything. Then again, we didn't really pay much attention to the books in this hallway, so... Hmm. Anything... Cute paintings are very cute. Hold on a second. Oh, hold on. look exactly like the paints in the chocolate house. I'm a dunce. Then again, this is kind of like subtle. Hmm. Let's see. Chocolate, shortcake, pie, shortcake, pancake, chocolate. Let's see if I can't remember that. And then I have a moment of self-doubt and go back to make sure I'm not remembering wrong. Chocolate shortcake pie shortcake pancake chocolate. Chocolate shortcake pie shortcake pancake chocolate. Chocolate shortcake pie pancake shortcake chocolate. I think. Okay. Chocolate. Shortcake. Pie. Pancake. No, wait. Shortcake. I can only assume this is pie. Pie. Shortcake. Pancake. Chocolate. Hoo ha! There are cookies on the table. Okay. So, I assume we give those to, like, the present mimic thing, so that's progress still. Let's go ahead and save real quick. That still doesn't solve the... there we go. Hmm. Still doesn't solve the matter of this, though. Since it's like right over here, um, wait. Slatter. Oh! Oh! Guess who's dumb? It's me. I'm dumb. Okay. I think this is the book's secret base. There's a bunch of stuff on the floor. Aw, and there's a picture of Aria, too. That's cute. 
Is that me? Many things on the floor. Mm -hmm. I guess Arya will just take what she deems important enough. There's a bear. The tulips inside a vase. It looks real, but it's fake. Close enough! So... There's the tulip we need, but now we need a snowdrop. But first, we have a hangry mimic to feed. First... There we go. Who was that? Was that Murder Boy? I didn't get a clear look, but I did see something shambling about in the dark. Oh boy. My voice is cracking. Anyway, uh, can I just go ahead and give the cookies to the Hangry Mimic? Yes. What a good smell they give off. What, did you want something in return? <laughs> young, young people are very capricious. In exchange for these delicious, delicious cookies, I will give you some secret information. <laughs> Do you see the fireplace next to me? If you search around the firewall, you'll find a switch to open a hidden door. <laughs> for real? Oh, a little door. Okay. Ooh, hello. I sell matches. Do you want one? They only cost one coin. Uh, do I have a coin? Oh. But this is, this is definitely, totally, these are asters, I think. Take, not, no, snowdrop. But yeah, this is definitely a fucking reference to, uh... The little match girl. Ah, God, that story is sad. And then you have like musicians like Moffy, just like, hey, I'm gonna take this sad story, I'm gonna make it even sadder. Here's my song, Flames of the Yellow Phosphorus. Like, it's actually a really good song, but it's still fucking sad, you know? They're. Wait. Were these cells here before? I... I'm not sure they were. Hmm. Anyway. Uh... Tulip. What? What? Huh? What? What? Huh? Is it because I used a fake one? Oh no. Well that's not good. Oh dear. Did I save before I... No, no, I saved after, but I guess it won't do if you have, like, a fake tulip? I wonder if anything's changed in the, uh... I wonder if anything's changed in the other rooms downstairs now that all these creepy dolls are out and about. Has anything changed in the doll room? No, except for the fact that it's empty. Uh, hi, Dolly. What's up? I'm alone. Where are the others? They went outside to play, I think. Or hunt me down to murder me in cold blood, who knows. They ain't talking. And I'm kind of horrified that they're not. I'd really love to know what they're planning. Oh, boy. Hmm. I know if I eat this... Like, y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard the knocking at the door, and that was fucking... Ugh. Hmm. familiar with the tale of Goldilocks and the, and the three bears, but just- Oh! There's a tulip in the vase. Hmm. I wonder if we can just, like, put this here? So that way we can't 
say that we stole anything. Because we, we, we put something back, so, uh... <gasps> okay, good. I'm gonna save now. There we go. Now then. Once more, but less dying. Tulip. And... Snowdrop. Still unlocked now. Someone managed to open the door. Now I can leave. Then now I can leave and have my own adventures. Oops. Okay. Bye. Huh. Thank you for opening the door. The book was eager to leave this room and encounter new places. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to thank you in this place. Do you know how I can return to my world? I do not know the answer to the end, but I think there is someone who could help you. The Book of the Wizard of Oz. If you visit him, I'm sure he'll help you. You only need to walk the yellow brick road. The door that gives access to the road is closed, but I have the key to open it. If you answer my question correctly, I will recognize that you deserve this key. Which flower means tenderness? Uh... I'm pretty sure it was... That is correct. I did not expect any less from you. Nice. There's a book called The Little Prince, written by Antoine de saint ex 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 Um, my French isn't good. I've, I've heard of this book, though, but I've never read it. I've heard that it's very good, though. Oh, the flowers have withered. That's not good. I'm gonna leave before I wither, too. I'm also gonna save. There we go. So, I can only assume that this key that we got from that very nice rose, I was going to save again because, oh boy, am I paranoid. Uh, I can only assume it unlocks this door. No? No? Okay. How long has this bird been here? Are you the owl from before? It's good to see you again. Aww. Ain't that nice. Maybe I have to use my invitation. No? Hmm. Well, we need matches from the little match... book... to go in here, probably. But the only problem is we need a coin. Hmm. Oh, wait. Wasn't there a... I think there was a book up here. Uh, not a book. A fucking door. Wasn't this door locked? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Narrator? The young girl with a glimmer of hope in her eyes advances across the yellow brick road. Will she succeed in leaving this world? Or will she perish trying? <laughs> Are you enjoying this wonderful library? Uh, narrator, there's something I need to tell you. I met a black haired boy before. Do you know who he is? Pretty sure you have brown hair, but meh. Hmm? That's impossible. It must be your imagination. You are the only one who should be here. Anyway, I must leave. We will cross paths again. Oh. Okay. Bye. Oh. Although, this could be the last time we see each other. <laughs> okay. Bye. There's a mushroom here. We can't interact with it, though, so... Let's just run like hell down the yellow brick road and not die. 
scarecrow, a set of silver armor, or a tin man, if you will. Oh, hello. Are you the Book Wizard of Oz? Are you the young Arya? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Do you also know me? Why don't all the books know me? Maybe it's because everyone hopes to be read by you someday. As you know, many of these books now will never be read and will be forgotten. When a book is forgotten, it fades away. Someone so enthusiastic about books at your age, it said it is something admirable. Humans like you are those who give us hope and allow us to keep living. When a book is forgotten, it dies. Sorry, I must be blabbering. What's the reason for your visit? A red rose told me that you could help me return to my world. I do not have the power to fulfill that wish, but I can help you in another way. Do you see that red box next to me? Open it and keep what is inside. I feel that it can be useful to you. I wish you good luck in your adventure. <laughs> Thank you. Is it... Coins! Okay, so let's save real quick. Run like hell in case anything comes after us and tries to... Mm, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Save again. Okay, I'm pretty sure... Where is the little matchbook again? Oh wait, right, right, it was in the fireplace. Here's your coin. Go buy yourself a loaf of bread or a night at a cheap inn. Oh wait, I can have to talk to her. Thank you. It's the first time I've sold a box. Thank you. Oh. There's a book on the ground called The Little Match Girl. Okay. Let's run on over here. The room is pitch black. I can't see anything. Strike a match. Jump scare? No, just bunnies. Which we will run through. Eh. There's a book here, but we can't read it. Hmm. Bookshelf is filled with different versions of Alice's, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Oh, I love this book. Lewis Carroll was an interesting writer. Not necessarily... Oh, hello. I managed to arrive in time to the party. All rabbits from Alice's Adventure in Wonderland books receive an invitation for the big party, but it seems like it hasn't started yet. What are you doing here? You don't look like a rabbit, but I do have an invitation. Well, maybe it was a mistake. Well, I mean... Hmm. So many rabbits! I want to chat with all of them. Although, if we all come back from this, if we all come from the same book, there won't be many things to talk about. Wait, you're not a rabbit! What are you doing here? Received an invitation? How strange. They're different versions of the same book, so even if we all come from the same book, not all rabbits are the same. That's true. Oh, the book is open now. Alice always chases the rabbit. Arya, why don't we change the story for- oh no. The fire blew out! I gotta get out of here! Oh good, it's open. Huh? You're the boy from before. 
Thank you so much for saving me. That rabbit was chasing me. I didn't know what to do. Hmm? Yeah, he has brown hair, so what the hell? Hmm? I knew you were a good person. No, I was aiming at you. Oh. You're trapped in here too, aren't you? Why don't we go together? My hand wasn't in my industry. I could have hit it right at the right target. Ugh, it was a perfect opportunity. It would be safer if we went together, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'll go with you. <laughs> I'm sure both of us can find a way out. If I go with her, I'll surely find another opportunity. What's your name? My name is Aria. Lewin. Lewin. Is there something wrong? Uh, it's nothing. Nice to meet you, Lewin. Nice to meet you, too. It's better if we keep moving. I think of move at any moment. Yeah, we should. Lewin is showing the party. Z. He does not get a fucking character portrait thing. Oh, there's a there's a save point here. Let's let's do that. Well, since uh we are running a bit low on time, I guess we'll see what's past this door next time on Let's Play Arya's Story. I will see you guys then and take care. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing and hitting that subscribe bell. If you want to see more of my content, there are some recommendations for you on screen right now. See you soon!